Hey guys, it's Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop, and today we have the Fat Quarter Shop way of how to make a snail's trail block in this classic and vintage episode. You can download the free block pattern on our free pattern page, and if you want to turn the block into a quilt, we've got a low price PDF also. So let's get started. Your first step is to make a four patch block using two fabric L squares, a fabric D square, and a fabric H square. So the first two together and the next two, you can chain piece and it'll make it a lot easier. Press towards your blue, then you can press either direction and we're ready to move on. Now we're gonna cut triangles that are gonna go around that center four patch to create the snail trail. So on all these fabrics, you're gonna take your squares, align your ruler point to point and cut. It is very important to really get the, the ruler right on the tip so that it's accurate. And each of these, you're gonna make two triangles and on some of these, you're only gonna use one of them and some of them you're gonna use both. Just refer to your pattern. Now, let's go build our snail trail. So now you're gonna take your four patch, turn it, take your fabric K triangles and put them here. You're gonna to wanna to find the center of each triangle and finger press. Align that on the center of your four patch, making sure you have your four patch placed in the right direction. Pin both sides. And then you're gonna to wanna to use a quarter inch seam allowance and about a 2.0 stitch length. And I used RFL color 2000 on this quilt. You're gonna stitch, press toward your background and from here, we're gonna trim our dog ears off. And then we're gonna add a fabric C triangle and a fabric G triangle. And again, you're gonna find the center and align it with your center. At this point, you wanna make sure your darks are touching and your lights are touching. You'll stitch a quarter inch seam allowance. And this is how your block is going to look. And instead of trimming to an exact size, we're just gonna trim a quarter inch away from your points. I'm gonna start with the Creative Grid six and a half inch ruler. And I'm gonna align the dotted lines on two sides. I'm also going to align the white line to make sure it's in the center and I'm going to trim two sides. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side where I've lined up my white and my quarter inch and I'm going to trim. And this is gonna be smaller than six and a half, but in the end, you're gonna get a better result. The snail trail will not work out exactly perfect. So doing it this way is gonna really help you get a nice, pretty snail trail. Now you're gonna keep building. You're gonna add two fabric J triangles, press, and then add an F and B triangle. And again, all your darks are touching and your mediums are touching. Now, again, you want to fold your triangle in the center and match that with your point here. That is all gonna end up looking like this. And again, it's coming out perfect. You can see all the points are matching. And again, we're not gonna worry about the size of the block. We're just gonna trim a quarter inch away. and you're just gonna line up lines on your ruler to make sure you're a quarter inch away. And what I like about this method is you're making it bigger, you're trimming it down. If you make all your blocks the same way, they're gonna lay together 
nicely and all your points are gonna match. So we're gonna do our last round and again, you're gonna add your background triangles, fabric eye first. This time you're gonna press open. Then you're gonna add your fabric E and fabric A triangles. Again, press open, match your centers. The reason we're pressing open is this is the final portion of our block and when we put our quilt all together, you want less bulky seams here and it's gonna fit together really nicely. And on this last step, we're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna line up line up your ruler trim a quarter inch away from your points and again you're not worrying about the finished block size you're just trimming around So we've trimmed our quilt block and it comes to about 12 and a quarter to 12 and a half inches. It's not gonna be exact. What we're trying to do with this method is to make sure your quarter inch seams all the way through have a really nice point. And if you purchase our low price PDF, we've put all those blocks together and we really want the seams to nest. And we really want the beauty of all the points matching. So that's why we did it this way. We hope you love this new Fat Quarter Shop snail trail method and we'll see you next time.